Hey, this is Leslie with Comfortable Shoes Studio, and this is Art Journaling number 18, Use It or you Lose It. Uh, in this video, I have pulled out all the end dregs of paint tubes. So these are all little paint tubes that have tiny, small amounts in them. And I'm going to use what's left. I'm going to cut them open with scissors or a knife and uh, use what's left. I'm going over the some of the pa the painted pages, the gessoed and watercolor pages. Um, you can see if you don't use these things up, you lose them. Um, in this case, this paint tube has very, very little usable paint. Um, so you got to use it up or you lose the paint. Um, so I'm just cutting these open and whatever paint is in them, I am using, if there is any. Some of these had, you know, a fair amount of paint just dried out uh, and it's a terrible waste. Um, so I think this one also completely dry. I'm trying to hold it up to the camera so you can see, not very successful there. Um, and here we go, we finally get one with a little paint in it. So, <clears throat> I am using a long handled acrylic paintbrush to um, to get this paint out of the tubes and then I'm just brushing it onto the pages and I'm brushing onto parts of the pages that are not coated with gesso yet. And here I've I've sped it up. So I sped about I wanted to, I, I think this was over an hour's worth of um, art journaling here. Um, that I've sped up to about 20 minutes. I'm not going to talk through the whole thing. Um, so I am like, I'm just randomly spreading this paint around. It's pretty thick and goopy in this case. And this is another problem with letting your paints get really, really old. Um, the paint itself changes texture. So you get like goopy, crusty paint. Um, or you get like, strings in it and globs sometimes you know it just completely dries out i've got I, as you saw in the beginning um a lot of this this paint was just trash um and you know i'm 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 not made out of money um and you know paint's expensive so i want to use every drop of paint that I purchase. I, I want that going into an art journal or into an art piece um, and, and not into the trash. And it doesn't dry in a way that you could make like a, you could use it in the art journal as like a acrylic skin in, when it's in these tubes. So I also use um, in later parts of the video a silicone scraper to get stuff out of the tubes and I'm, I'm using my Princeton catalyst there it is um, Princeton catalyst to scrape stuff out um, if you were thinking about getting one of these these are in my opinion a great investment but I also have one in the kitchen that is uh, I think it's by Betty Crocker um, and it was a little cheaper but it's made to get the last dregs out of a peanut butter jar so it's it's sold as a peanut butter um, <laughs> peanut, peanut butter scraper or something along those lines. And it's a little stiffer and I've been thinking about buying one for, the, for art purposes. Um, here I'm just kind of tearing apart this, uh, tin, tin paint container to see if there's any paint left in it. And I'm, I'm not sure there is. These are the little metal tubes are a little harder to cut apart. Um, cause the metal, when you, when you cut it, pinches together, um, and then I find it hard to hard to get anything out. And see, this is this is an example of a paint that got really goopy and just not it. It was not as nice to to use as some of the other stuff. Um, here I'm tearing, tearing bits of the, that, and that one was trash, unfortunately. And here's a Liquitex Basics. Um, they used to make their sample mini sets, um, out of a, 
like a an aluminum tube or is that steel? I don't know what that was made out of. Um, but anyway, it was a soft metal, and now their mini tubes are all um, made out of plastic. Unfortunately, I prefer the metal tubes, um, although they did have a tendency to rip apart. Um, I had a lot of these little tubes with um, earth colors. So you're going to see me using a lot of earth colors, this tan shade, um, which is great because that is a fantastic color as a base coat, for especially for drawing on. Um, it's good for portraits or landscapes. It's a nice, warm, neutral, mid-tone to draw on. And I'm just being super random with how I'm brushing this stuff on. There's no real rhyme or reason. Just brushing it on. Just doing some stripes. But I find like using the dregs of the paint to be very freeing. Like I, if I don't use these, I've now cut them open. If I don't use it up and get it onto the page, it's trash. You know, it's going to dry out. It's not going to be usable. And I need to get that onto the page. All right, so here I have pulled out my trusty um, 1971, I think it was a Family Circle magazine. Um, that they, So a box of magazines came with my house when we, when we bought it many, many years ago. Um, we donated a bunch of them. Uh, we have recycled a bunch of them. Uh, but, uh, I also threw a bunch into my garage and it has stayed there, um, for the last 15 years. So, um, finally I decided, well, I'm going to, I'm going to do some stuff with this. I want to like check out some of the old, um, advertisements and things like that. So I'm pulling out a bunch of stuff, um, to keep and use, uh, but I'm also using, you'll see here an old gift card. Old credit card or an old gift card works great for spreading out. In this case, this paint is pretty thick. Um, again, this is another problem with letting this paint stick around. It's like stickier than peanut butter. Um, even my little rubber spatula is having trouble scraping it out. And so this is at a point where, you know, if I were to use this in a painting, I'd have to mix it with some matte medium or something so that it was more spreadable with a brush. Um, but I'm doing okay here with the, with the credit card.
there was a lot of that purpley blue left. Um, it's really nice with the warmer colors. Um, so I got a lot of that on as a base coat um, to use later. Um, I've got another suit. I've got another couple of videos that are going to go along with this one to show you kind of what I do with some of these pages. Uh, so they're going to end up in uh, like junk journals. They're going to end up as collage paper. They're going to be used in a lot of different ways. Um, but I spend a lot more time adding more color to these. As you can see, I've got more tubes of paint that need to be cut open. Um, so I just keep going with this. I, I did this for a good couple of hours. I recorded the whole thing and I'll load some, some bonus footage up. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, and thank you for being here and part of the art journaling community. I appreciate you viewing my videos. I appreciate all of the thumbs up, the likes and the subscriptions. Um, you know, it just, it's really nice to be supported by the viewers. Um, please leave comments if you have any questions or if there's a technique that you would like to see me explore. Um, or is there something that you would like me to do a question and answer session on? Let me know in the comments. Um, happy to answer any questions or explore things. Thank you again. And I'm going to make it awkward. Head on over to Kofi and consider buying me a cup of coffee if you enjoy this. I have bonus content over there. Um, I write more articles about creativity and art journaling. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.